Hi friends, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and this is going to be a super quick video. I'm just going to show you how I reorganize some of our school supplies. And, you know, um, I don't know about you guys, but we've been on Christmas break, and um, I felt like we just really needed some new organization so when we come back to doing school um, next week, things are going to be, you know, put together and nice and neat. So what I did is I just have one of these little caddies here and then this is just a little um, dollar store um, you know bin and um, I took just some cups and I put the cups in here and then I separated some of our supplies so these are color pencils and then these are regular pencils here in this one by the way um, I got these pencils a long time ago these are called my hold right pencil um, and I thought I would let you guys know if you were interested in getting these. They're not, and like this one's not sharpened as you see. So one of them, a few of them are sharpened. They're not as great as I thought they would be. What you do is you teach the kids like they put their thumb on the green, they put their pointer on the red, and then they put their other fingers on the yellow. And it's, it's kind of in a triangle shape. Can you see that? And um, it's supposed to help the kids learn how to hold their pencil properly. But I never really found that it really worked that great. Let me show you what um, actually really does help my child. Okay, so um, I kind of got distracted, but I wanted to show you this. Um, so my last few kiddos, um, what has really helped them is I found this, I don't know if I found it on Pinterest or whatever, but you take a clip like this and you clip it onto their pencil. Okay, see that? Um, you clip it like so. And then what they do is they grab onto this part and since this has to be in their hand, it helps them hold it properly. Now my hand is too big because I'm big. So um, if their hand is bigger, you can slide it up. And if their hand is smaller, you can slide it down lower. But what it does is it helps them, they have to hold the, hold the clip with these three fingers. So it keeps those fingers there. And then it, these two fingers have to go in the proper place because there's nowhere else for them to go. And then they write like that, with, holding on to this. And this has been a lifesaver. It really has helped. Right now, my three-year-old does that. Well, actually, he just turned four. He just turned four in December here. So um, it has been helping him a lot. And it really helped my other son when he was three. And he was learning how to hold his pencil. He's now five. Um, so he doesn't use it anymore. Um, and he has a, you know, he can hold his pencil properly now that, that he's five. But anyways, it's a really great way. So that just, that really helped us. Okay, let me get back to showing you. Okay, so back to this. Um, what I did is I did clip um, two of these. I, I put two of these clips on here. That way I have them available for my three-year-old and then eventually my two-year-old when he's ready to write um, so that they can um, use those. Okay, so then um, in this little bin here, I just have those Crayola Twistables. Um, they're colored pencils except for they're twistable, so they're kind of like crayons, colored pencils, you know, together. Here I just have crayons, and then um, in this one I put um, their fun pencils and their erasers. So I have just, you know, like their their big erasers that are in here, and then these are just some fun pencils that they have. These were Christmas ones that we were using at Christmas time, and then I did get them some new, um, like wintery ones, you see here, um, for winter time. Um, so those ones are going to be new, something new. So when we start school back up next week, they're going to have, you know, just some new pencils. And I still kept the Christmas ones in here in case they, you know, want to use them. You can see that they've been used. They got some erasing gone um, on them. But okay, so that is that bin. And then this other bin, this bin is more, um, I, but the, I pull them both out every day because we use things in both of them every day. Um, but I had, I, I, um, have more crafty things than this one. This one is more, you know, just writing tools. So this one here, these are um, those dot to dot markers um, that my younger kids use those a lot. Um, and then these are some more of those as well. These are like the very, very first like baby kind of ones. So these are great for my two year old. He could kind of stamp on, on the papers. Um, but And these ones are a little bit harder because it's more like paint inside there that does the dot. So they can't push too hard or too much of it comes out. So with these ones, I let my four and five year old use those and then my two year old can use these. Okay, so then um, this is just a pencil sharpener I have stuck in there. 
Um, in here is just glue sticks, and then in this one is just some kid-sized um, scissors. Now, this section right here, um, these tools are great. Okay, so these are fine motor tools, and um, I plan on using these more in some of our activities. Um, and they're really, really fun. I got these ones from Lakeshore Learning, but then I saw that um, Amazon has uh, a pair of these simil very, very similar for cheaper. So um, if you're interested, um, I would check out the ones that are on Amazon. But basically, they're just fine motor tools, so the kids can use them. Um, this one you squeeze and they have to just like pick things up with them and move them. This is a little dropper and then this one, you know, is like they open it up and they can pick things up with it. So we use those in just different activities sometimes. Okay, so then um, the last thing here, these are just more erasers in this. And then these here are my hot dot pens. If you haven't checked out hot dots, they're a lot of fun. Um, they go with like books that have answers and when they press down, like if it's the wrong answer, it, it, it lights up blue. I mean red, I'm sorry. Um, and then if it's the right answer, it will light up green and it'll say good job or something like that. Um, these two um, doggy ones are like for the preschool age and then this one is for the older kids. Um, and so they're, they're just, they're kind of cool. Like this one, see, so if it's wrong, it's red. Um, so anyway, those are fun. So I keep them in here because whenever we're doing hot dots, I can grab those out. So that is how I have it organized. Told you guys this was going to be a short video. How do you guys organize your day-to-day, um, -day, you know, school supplies that you use? Any interesting ways that you do it? Um, I'd love to hear it in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Bye.